Hi, I'm Asat Sufav, and this is um, a video request. I mentioned um, a uh, coffee can dual stand heater, uh, a heater that you can make out of um, a coffee can, and you can use it when you're um, camping, you know, hunting, uh, or I guess um, if you're if you really want to, you can use it in your backyard on the um, porch if you want to be out in that kind of weather, but. This is a really easy uh, design, simple design, DIY, um, you know, heater. All you need is a metal coffee can. Um, can't stress how important that is. Uh, it's pretty sad that um, the coffee industry has moved to these plastic um, uh, coffee cans. Uh, I, I don't drink coffee myself but I always love these uh, metal coffee cans because you can find so many different things to make out of them and uh, you can still find some of the cheaper brands uh, use the metal coffee can and if not you can probably go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and buy a empty um, paint can and you might be able to um, r uh, rig that up where you can uh, improvise and use that instead of a coffee can but this is the coffee can uh, heater. You need a metal coffee can, toilet paper, uh, a new roll of toilet paper that's pretty thick that you can uh, shove in there and it can fit in there real nice and tight. And it's better if you can take the cardboard tube out of there. Uh, you don't need the cardboard tube, it'll make your life a lot easier, but you can still do it with that tube in place. But it's just a lot easier this way. Uh, and then you also need, of course, some high octane rubbing alcohol. Um, I, uh, that was the um, uh, what I had at the time. Seventy percent is the highest you buy at my local dollar store. Hang on one second. I want to face you down in here, and I'm gonna um, pour the rubbing alcohol in. Now you're going to pour uh, pretty much the whole entire bottle in though. This is a, pre a pretty big bottle. I don't know if I'm going to use all of it or not, but most of the time if you buy a smaller bottle, you want to uh, use all of, all of it. Let it soak up in though. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, it looks like it's going to need a little bit more. I might end up using the whole entire bottle. I don't know. And it's uh, the toilet paper was absorbing that. I think that'll be enough. All right. You're going to use quite a bit of rubbing alcohol, you, uh, and as you can see, the toilet paper has absorbed it up. And uh, I'm going to move my camera back a little bit because I don't want it to catch on fire. And, um, and then, if everything goes to plan and I don't blow up, you light it. Now you can see the flames dancing around. And um, that's the heater. Um, some things you want to keep in mind. Um, let me move my camera back. Now, the way this works is um, the toilet paper is the wick. And I probably should have put a little bit more rubbing alcohol in there. But um, I'm not going to since it's already lit. Because as you can see, the sides are boiling. And you really don't want your um, toilet paper boiling. I mean, it is going to happen, but what you want to boil is the rubbing alcohol itself. And uh, um, the wind's kind of blowing um, pretty hard out, and the stove's um, standing up to the wind pretty good. The way this works is the toilet paper is the wick, and uh, um, the 
uh, rubbing alcohol is the fl uh, fuel that you want to burn. And uh, so um, then when you get done using this, what you do is you um, get a piece of plywood or something flat of some kind of cover to snuff it out with and you let it cool off for a few seconds and then after it cools off you put the plastic uh, lid back on and it seals all the ru uh, rubbing alcohol in it and that way you don't have to fill it back up with rubbing alcohol every time you need it it'll, it'll last you know throughout the season and um, you, it might be a good idea to um, you know when you uh, use this uh, heater make sure you have a well ventilated area when you uh, whenever you're hunting you obviously don't want to uh, use this in a very closed up stand uh, you want it to be a fairly open stand uh, with a lot of room in it uh, give the flames some room to dance around in but this is what um, my dad used to hunt with uh, way back when uh, and uh, that's why I that's, he's the person who originally gave me this an ideal. He's the one who taught me how to do it. And here it is. Puts off a good bit of heat. And obviously with the wind, the file is going to kick up a little bit more than it's going to if it's in your stand. Now, I want to give you a couple of warnings. Do not put the plastic lid on while the can's still hot. Uh, do not... Um, use this in a, a area that's not ventilated that well you want good ventilation so you don't suffocate and uh, this should not um, put off a smell unless until you put it out when you put it out it'll put off a, a slight rubbing alcohol smell but while it's burning it usually doesn't smell so you don't have to worry about it scaring off your game unless it gets out of the control and you catch the woods on fire Puts off a good bit of heat. I wish I've, I had a thermometer to show you. But there it is. Now, I bet you think that I forgot that I needed something to put it out with. Well, I have this lid to a, um, a pot, and when you're done with it, you just snuff it out. And you wait a little bit, wait for this part to cool off and um, you, then you um, uh, put the plastic lid on after it cools off and it'll seal the uh, fluid in so you can use it let's see and then you can relight it and use it the next day when you go hunting you see it lights up very easily uh, and there it is. That is the um, coffee can heater. Um, hope I didn't forget anything. <laughs> um, again, I want to warn you, use this in a well ventilated area. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If I forgot anything, I'll annotate it in or add it in later. And that is the uh, uh, coffee can heater. It, uh, it can uh, it's good for keeping multiple people warm warming up your hands or the entire stand and um, remember always be safe with fire when you're out in the woods um, like Smokey uh, Bale says only you can prevent forest fires I'm Satsu 5 and I'm out